Hi, this is Susan Karczewski. I'm a published jewelry designer from Perfectly Unique Design Studio and Boutique in Pearson, Indiana. I'm going to do a video tutorial today on how to recycle a wine cork into a beautiful necklace. So let's get started. For this project you will need 12 furniture nails, two 10 millimeter round jump rings, five six millimeter round jump rings, one lobster clasp, cut chain in two inch, two and a half inch, and three inch lengths, three charms, one wine cork, chain in 26 inch length, two mirror rosettes, two small screw eyes, and one pair of needle nose pliers. You can get most of these items here at the hardware store or you can order them in an accessory kit from www.jewelrylessonvideos.com. To begin we're going to take our 26 inches of cut chain and put on the ends. So we're going to take two of our six millimeter jump rings and put it on one end. And to close it together, you go side to side. You'll use your fingers to get it right up next to the other end. Now we're going to get the other jump ring here and put it on the other side of the chain. So we'll take that end, stick the jump ring through and then we'll put our lobster claw clasp on. And then we're going to close that. Let's get the chain down to the center. And we just close that tight. We got that on. Okay, now we're going to take our two eye screws and our two mirror rosettes and you can find these at a hardware store. We're going to take our cork. I have a nice decorative leaf and grape cork. That's the great thing about this project is it recycles corks and there's all types of designs that you can get on corks. We're going to take one of our rosettes. We're going to put it at the top. We're going to take our eye screw put it in the center and then you just simply twist. It's not real hard. You just make sure you're always in the center and you keep twisting. till you get down to the bottom and it's nice and tight. There, we're starting to get tight, and then you want to line that up so it's parallel. So now we're going to do the bottom of the cork. We're going to take our mirror rosette and put it on, kind of center it. Take our eye screw, put it in the center, start turning. I kind of hold the rosette with my hand while I'm turning the screw and it makes it nice and tight so you don't move around. Again, you want to make sure that these are parallel. So it should look like this when you get both of those pieces on. Okay, then we're going to take our 10 millimeter jump ring, open it up. We're going to add the chain at the bottom. So we have our cut lengths, three different lengths, two inch, two and a half inch, and three inch. We're going to take the two inch one and add it to the chain. And we're going to put the two and a half inch one on and the three inch one. We can do this all at the same time. Put all of them on and then close the jump ring. And to close the jump ring, you never pull them apart. You always go side to side. You can use two pair of needle nose pliers or I use my hand and the pliers. You close the ring like that. Butt it up right next to each other. Okay, so now we're going to take our three charms. You can decide what chain you want them on. So I think I'll put the star on the longest chain. 
put my jump ring on. Put it to the chain and again you always close side to side. Nice and tight. I'm going to put the peace sign in the middle and I'm going to put the flower on the end here. So I'll take another jump ring, put my charm on, and close the jump ring. Okay. And the last jump ring. Put that on. Get it nice and tight. There we go. Now we're going to take the other 10 millimeter jump ring, put it at the top of the hook, and we're going to put our chain through that we had just finished. And then we're going to close the jump ring side to side. Okay, there we are. Let's turn it around so you can see it. And then we can close this here. There you go. And now we're going to decorate the wine cork. And I have chosen to decorate it with furniture nails. But you could also use old earring post to do this project too. To recycle earrings you don't wear any longer, you can use some earring post to stick into the cork. So these are called hammered furniture nails. And they have several different designs you can get in these at the hardware store. Or you can order them on www.jewelrylessonvideos.com. You can order the accessory kit to this design today. So I have 12 of the furniture nails and I'm going to place them in the cork at various places. I like some of the pictures to show still. So I'm going to put one here. And you just simply press it in and push. If you need a little help you can take your pliers and also press it down like this. So I'm going to put one there one over here so I can still see the grape. Take my pliers and press it in. Put one here. Press it in with the pliers till it's all the way down. Just kind of stick it in. You can either press it down more with your finger or use your needle nose pliers. So you can kind of turn it while you're designing it and see where your open areas are. So I think I'll put another one over here on the bottom. Kind of space them out. They should go all the way down unless for some reason you hit the end of another one. You might just want to take that out and re-put it somewhere else. Sometimes that happens with the pins. So in that case I was hitting the other pin so I'm going to go a little higher, and now I should have no problem getting that one in. Again, see there? I can't get this one in because I'm hitting another nail. So in that case you just gently pull it back out and find a new spot.
And as you can see, you can still see some of my original design on the cork, and that just gives it a nice look. So we have three more to do. I'm going to put one here. Okay. And then we'll have a spot over here. There we go. We have one more. I think I want to put it right here. There's a nice open space. You can still see the leaf. Put it right here. So you just make sure that they're all nice and tight. And that is your recycled wine cork necklace. Thank you for watching my jewelry lesson. And if you would like to get more video tutorials, you can go to www.jewelrylessonvideos.com.